Well, there's lots of people. Um, David, I think, to be fair, David, on this, I do think uh, what I'm about to read, I think you make a good point because you say, Michelle, you only have to look at TV adverts now to see that white males are almost... Ex ex they're being airbrushed out. That's true. It's being airbrushed out. True. But yeah. I, I agree with that because yeah, yeah. Um, I, I, what I think is organisations trying to be so kind of, look at me, I'm so kind of right on and work and diverse yeah. that everything that I do, here's my mixed race family eating their breakfast, yeah. here's my, I don't know, my black family doing this, here's my, oh, my next mixed race family. And then you do, you sit there and you say, of course there's black people in uh, the UK, of course there's mixed race people in the UK, but not every single family yeah. that you come but, across are that demographic. But the majority of people in the country, as last time I checked, are white. They are white. Of yeah, course. But the thing is, it, it does become a bit uh, ridiculous when you watch uh, uh, advertisements where you're like, you tick off the gay, the gay uh, person, tick off the, you know, the trans person. I mean, it's getting ridiculous. Yeah, it is ridiculous. We, we, if we are truly to be coloured... That is a highly prejudiced society that does that. Exactly. That is promoting all these minority groups at the exclusion of the majority. That is a highly prejudiced approach it's also dangerous. to life. It's very dangerous because it's inculcating division. Of course it is. And, and resentment. Yeah. Where it doesn't... Look... We all need to mm. move on. Society does need to move on. Of course, things uh, progress. But it's very dangerous where you have a situation where the majority feel... I mean, look, talk about white privilege. What, what privilege does a kid on a sink estate in Teesside have who wants to become a high court judge? Yeah, right. absolutely. What, what chance does that kid have, a white yeah. kid have? I think that's a fair look. Then I agree that it's also in this country, non-graduate men in particular, fared particularly poorly over the past 30 or 40 years, the largest fall in employment rates, the decline of manufacturing. This is a huge problem we absolutely have to address. But I also can't believe you guys are so um, feel so strongly about TV adverts. Like I've never really. Well, it's really? subliminal. Yeah, it's sub it's, con it's continuous. It's continuous it's subliminal. It's continuous subliminal messaging. Mm. It's continually reinforcing that agenda, and we're we, 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 we're just blindly falling into what, the. What agenda? What's the what's the beef? It, I'm I'm genuinely confused. Well, it is the inculcation of division within society for the promotion of minorities at the expense of the majority. That's what's going on. And Sadi Khan, I'm going to mention Sadi, he's my sort of bête noire, he, he absolutely is guilty of it. Forgive me, forgive me for the expression. He's guilty of it in spades. You know, he absolutely, he, his whole political agenda is based on inculcating that sort of division. But I want to move on one, just, just come back to the conclusion of what that professor said, and which was absolutely right. People are going to leave this country. It, unless we get back to hardcore meritocracy, which frankly is the only way for this country to, 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 pro to progress based on pure merit, unless we get back to that, we will have brain drain. Yeah, and I've got to say, Jeevan, that you're saying that you're surprised that these two have picked up mm -hmm. uh, the TV adverts. I can tell you now, there's a huge flood of uh, emails that are coming in that are saying exactly that. In fact, this conversation on the panel was mm. triggered by uh, a viewer of your email here saying exactly that. And I, you know, this whole TV advert, I'm astonished that you've not come across that kind of sentiment because you cannot, well, you can, but very rarely, if you watch a TV advert from a major brand, it will feature almost exclusively now, I would say, as I said earlier, you know, here's a cereal brand and here is a mixed race family enjoying that cereal brand. Here is whatever and this is a black family doing this. Absolutely nothing wrong with that mm. at all. However, it's not an accurate reflection of the demographic of this country. What's happened is it's a huge over-representation. Maybe they'll you... change. I mean, I, I honestly, maybe that I've noticed things have been more diverse, certainly when I was growing up, but I didn't at all in any way think it was to the exclusion of it. And also, I don't think it's that... Um, insidious, right? Really? I don't think it's insidious.